All right, you guys, uh, this lesson is the addition and subtraction method. This is my favorite lesson of solving systems of equations. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Let me show you this. I do this about every five videos or so. Here's MrMathBlog.com right here. So if you go to that, and then across the top, you see of all the classes I've taught you guys, here's the one that we're in, Integrated Math 1. So if you click that, you can scroll down, and I'm going to be loading that right down here in red. So... I don't know what your screen size is going to look like, so it's going to be right down here, 11.3, okay? All right, like I said, this one's my favorite one. It goes pretty fast, you guys. So the elimination method is used to solve systems of equations where one variable is uh, uh, eliminated by adding or subtracting the two equations in the system. So, um, uh, uh, for example, let's just dive right in. So solve each system of linear equations by the addition or subtraction method here. So here we go. So here we can add these equations together because can you see that these variables are going to cancel out the negative 2y and positive 2y? If I just add the top equation to the bottom equation, 4x plus x is going to give us 5x. And then the negative 2y and positive 2y, they cancel each other out. And then 12 plus 80 equals 20. Now we can divide both sides by 5 and we get x equals 4. And then don't forget we got to find y, you guys. So just plug uh, uh, x equals 4 into any equation. I like this bottom one better right here. So when we subtract 4 from both sides, you hear my fire cracking in the background. It's a cold winter night right now. Um, it's uh, early December, and so it's uh, like 30 degrees outside. Anyway, um, so don't forget uh, our answers are always x, y answers right there, okay? All right, so uh, this is a quick method. It goes fast, you guys. Here, let's try another one here, you guys. Okay, so here, they're not opposites of each other, so instead of adding the equations together, we'll subtract the equations. So uh, I like to put parentheses around it because you're subtracting the whole equation. So this bottom equation is subtracted from the top one. So 2x minus 2x are gone. Here it's going to be 6y minus a minus y is 6y plus y. And then here it's going to be 6 minus a minus 8, and that's going to be 6 plus 8. So we're going to get 7y equals 14, so y equals 2. <clears throat> And then substitute y back into any equation. I chose that top one right there. And then 6 times 2 is 12. And then subtract 12. And so you get negative 3. Don't forget your answer is always x, y. So negative 3, comma 2. Okay. They're always, they always they usually come in in alphabetical order, you guys. Okay. So here, let's add these guys together. The 5 y's are going to cancel right there. So we get uh, 5x equals negative 10 because we add negative 24 plus 14. And then so x equals negative 2. Okay, and then substitute x equals negative 2 into any equation. I like I like to stay away from negatives when I'm solving because I get tripped up on them too. So I chose this top one right here. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So we're going to add 4 to both sides to get negative 20 over there when we do that. And then 5 goes into negative 20, negative 4 times. Don't forget x, y. So negative 2, negative 4. Okay, sometimes we get something uh, kind of different here. So when we add these guys together, we get uh, everything cancels out. So 0 equals 0. So then ask yourself, is is that true? And that is true. So when it's when that happens, you guys, and there's no more x's or y's, but it's a true statement, then, then you say the system has infinitely many solutions. So if we graphed them, it'd be one line right on top of the other. It'd be the same line. And then when you run into something like this, here we're going to go ahead and subtract uh, the equations here. And then over here I get uh, x minus x are gone, y minus y are gone, so I get 0 over here. And then negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. Okay, does 0 equal negative 6? No, 0 equals 0, or negative 6 equals negative 6. So this is where um, uh, the system does not have any solution. So uh, they'd be parallel lines if we graph them. All right, then they're going to have a couple of uh, application problems. And don't let the word problem scare you. They give you the system of equations in all of these, you guys. So um, we'll generate those in the next module when we get in module 12. So... Anyways, uh, you're building a deck, and the perimeter should be 40 meters, and the difference between twice the length and twice the width should be 4. Okay, then they give us this system right here. So the system of equations, we're going to learn how to generate these in the next module, but in this lesson, they're, they're going to give these to you right here. So here's the perimeter, twice the length. Think it's a rectangle, you guys, okay? So you got this rectangle going around right here, and it doesn't say it's a rectangle, but we'll just say it is. 
Okay, and then so there's two lengths and then plus two widths and then equals 40. And then it says the difference between twice the length and twice the width, difference means minus sign is four. Don't worry about that. They'll give that to you. And so uh, represents the situation. L is the length and W is the width. So we're going to go ahead and solve uh, for the length and width. And we'll be able to answer what will the length and the width of the deck be. Okay, so let's go ahead and add them together. So it's that easy, you guys. So we get L equals 11. Plug in L into any equation. I chose the top one to stay away from the negatives. Okay, and so if we um, uh, subtract the 22 on both sides, we get W equals 9. So the length of the deck will be 11 meters and the width will be 9 meters. Okay, let's try one more, you guys. A video game in a movie rental shop charges $2 for each video game rented and $1 for each movie rented. One day, a total of 114 video games and movies were rented for a total of $177. Okay, and then they give us the system. So here it is right here. So they'll always give you the system, and we can just solve that. So here's the system that represents this situation where X is the number of video games and Y is the number of uh, movies rented, okay? So find um, uh, the number of video games and the number of movies that was rented, okay? So let's go ahead and solve. All right, here we're going to subtract so we can cancel out the Ys. So X minus 2X is negative X. And 114 minus uh, 177 is negative 63, yep. And then so we get x equals positive 63. Here we get negative x equals negative 63. So when we divide both sides by negative 1 or multiply both sides by negative 1, we get x equals 63. Okay, and then go ahead and find y, and we get y equals 51 right there. Okay, so let's answer the question. Uh, whoops, I forgot a parenthesis right there, but you guys get the idea. So it just means that there's 63 video games and 51 movies that were rented right there, okay? All right, and if you guys are in my class, I would assign that for your homework right there. And if you guys can, if you've gotten this far, would you guys click like on this video? Thanks a lot, you guys. Take care.